Hello everyone. So I was asked the question last week, what language should I learn if I want to get into DevOps? That's a great question. There's a lot of languages out there to learn, but I really see two categories. And these two categories, I think you need to learn one from each. The two categories that I see are shell languages and programming languages. So we're going to start with shell languages. I really only see two choices worth making in that area. And that would be Bash and PowerShell Core. You can pick one or both. If you pick one, that's really going to be driven by what you're expected to manage. So if you're working for an employer who is heavily invested in Linux, learning Bash is probably the way to go. However, if you're working for an employer or you're expected to also manage Windows servers, then I'm going to recommend you learn PowerShell Core. PowerShell Core can be easily translated into Windows PowerShell. There's some small nuances and differences there, but it's still roughly the same language. And so if you learn PowerShell Core, you can also install that on Linux and manage Linux systems using PowerShell Core. So that's going to be my recommendation there is Bash or PowerShell Core. And in my opinion, I favor PowerShell Core. Now let's get into programming languages. Lots of choices here. If you work in a company who has a dev shop, if you're not directly related to the work that the dev shop's doing, then I'm not even going to suggest that you try to learn the language that your shop has or that your employer uses. While there's some value in that, unless you're actually going to be doing that work or you need to understand how that tooling works, there's really probably no need in you learning that for for the DevOps purpose. That's my opinion. You don't see a lot of things in DevOps necessarily automated with a lot of common development languages. Yeah, people do use those, but it's not the prevalent languages in the DevOps ecosystem, in my opinion. So if we wanted to focus on languages that are related to the DevOps ecosystem, really a couple that are going to jump out at me are Python, Python is cross-platform. Windows 10 is going to start shipping with Python installed by default, at least from what I've been reading. Most Linux in, uh, distributions, most all Macs have Python pre-installed. So you're going to have Python available to you on, on almost every system out of the box. So using Python would be my recommendation. Python can be used to do some scripting. It can also be used to do some development. So this makes it a really good versatile language to learn. A lot of tools that are commonly used around system management and package management. So you think things like DNF, the package manager in Red Hat and Fedora, that's written in Python. A lot of configuration management tools leverage Python and or are written in Python. So I'm thinking of tools like Ansible, SaltStack, Leverage Python. The, a lot of the CLIs, like the Azure CLI and the AWS CLI, they both use Python. When you get into Python, don't focus on Python 2, focus on Python 3. For a lot of people just getting into it, Python 3 is just Python. Uh, for those that have been around in the field for a while, but maybe never jumped into programming. Python 2 is going to be retired at the end of, or in January, I think January 1, 2020 is when it's going to be end of life. So only focus on Python 3. And if you need some resources for that, a book I would recommend is Automate the Boring Stuff, which is a book about how to automate a lot of tasks that you do with Python. As in previous videos, automating tasks that you do all the time is a good way to get started into doing DevOps. Other languages to consider, I'm really gonna to have to say there's really only other, uh, the only other language that I would recommend is Go. So if you want to get into more development around DevOps and DevOps tools, I'm gonna to have to say Go. Kubernetes is written in Go. Uh, Docker is written in Go. Podman 
if you're on the more on the rail side, um, Fedora side of of containers. So a lot of container technologies written in Go, a lot of tools along with Kubernetes is written in Go, Terraform, Packer by HashiCorp is written in Go. Go is pretty prevalent. That's moving on the spectrum further to developer if you if you take on the, the challenge of learning Go. But it's also pretty ubiquitously used around DevOps tooling. So if you were going to write an operator for Kubernetes, the Go SDK is there. There's SDKs for other languages, but a lot of examples are going to be in Go. And an operator for Kubernetes is really trying to instill that operational knowledge into uh, code so it can manage your environment inside of Kubernetes. And so if that's written in Go, more than likely you're going to have to write those in Go uh, unless you want to pick up another language. Yet again, learning Java, which I think there's an SDK for operators now for, doesn't really carry a lot of advantages if you want to contribute or work with these tools and actually understand how they work. Because most of them, again, most of them are written in Go. I sound like a broken record at this point, but Python and Go are pretty prevalent throughout DevOps and tooling that you find in DevOps and you see in DevOps. So that's, those are going to be my recommendations. Go is definitely more for development. Like you're, you're moving the, the spectrum all the way over to developer at that side. Whereas Python, I think, does a better job of straddling operations and development because you can do the scripting and programming with Python. So that's my opinion. Please leave me some feedback and let me know what you think. Uh, if you recommend another language, please post it in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's great to see that it's growing. It's great to see that people are watching these and finding these useful. I will keep doing these until people say they don't want to hear them anymore. So please subscribe. Please like my video if, if you find it useful. And let me know of any programming languages that you think or shell languages that you think should be on my list or should be considered for somebody trying to get into DevOps. Talk to you later.